So Yearlink, uh, you would have, most of them would have known it's a one-stop solution for Microsoft Teams uh, collaboration systems. So this slide shows about the uh, uh, growth of Yearlink uh, in this uh, entire uh, globally in the region. So they've grown almost 33% um, uh, the last year, the annual growth. They have Presence has gone uh, more than 140 uh, countries uh, across the globe, and the current uh, market capitalization is 11.5 billion. Um, with regard to the Microsoft portfolio, uh, if you see they are the gold uh, partner um, for unified communication and collaboration solution. The link is the top uh, one in SIP uh, phone provider globally. And they've captured almost 60% of market share on the Microsoft Teams phone, uh, which is voice solution. And if you see the Teams room globally, they are top three in the uh, uh, market. And um, the customers uh, globally who have been using Yearlink, uh, um, like Microsoft top uh, 55 customers are using Yearlink. So they started in 2015 in collaboration with Microsoft now they grown uh, uh, way beyond uh, their, their coverage. And of course, all the solution for any kind of space will be, all are certified by Microsoft. Uh, they have solution for the any workspace. So now why Yearlink? See, Yearlink is the only uh, vendor of the uh, product who has got a one-stop solution, be it a speaker phone or a headset, desk phone, conference phone, room solution for Windows or Android based, video phones, panels, uh, the uh, smart collaborative panels, meeting boards, uh, be it anything, they have the complete uh, portfolio. So if you could, this slide shows the coverage of all the other vendors uh, who are there in the market, where Yelling covers the entire uh, solution. Now I'll be handing over this uh, session to um, Sheshu, who is our uh, product uh, specialist. We'll be running through the entire portfolio. Uh, please do um, come up with any kind of questions you have. We are there to uh, reply back and assist you. Some uh, over to you, Sheshu. Thank you so much, Jan, sir. Thank you, Nivan. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everybody is fine. And uh, guys, if you get any questions in the middle, just you can type it in the chat window. I'm going to address at the end of the session. So I hope everybody is audible and you are able to hear my voices. So now if you see on this slide, there is a devices which is certified from Microsoft, Microsoft Teams. So the first one is that we have a devices, we have a solution for Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows based. Basically, whenever you are going to give a solution, for video conferencing, based on your room size, you are going to choose the solution. Like we have MVC 400, MVC 640. By the way, if you see here, the MV, M is indicating that Microsoft video conference. So based on your room size, we are going to give you a solution, especially the first one in the row, it's showing based on the windows. We have MVC 400, MVC 640, MVC 640 with the decked wireless and MVC 660, MVC 840, MVC 860 and MVC 960. So we have a different solutions which are related to the Windows based. And according to your room size, you can choose which is the shortable model. In upcoming slides, I'm going to give you the brief uh, overview about each and every product, how it's going to work and uh, what is the best solution according to your customers. So we will discuss about it. The next one is that Android based. So we have an Android based, we can call it as a all-in-one collaboration board. We have a A20, A30, and meeting board. And also we have a room panels and AI speaker phones. And again, we have a USB based camera like UVC 30, UVC 20 speaker phone, and we have a headsets as well. And we have a Bluetooth supported headsets. And we have especially the desk phones, which is going to support Microsoft Teams, which is MP50, MP54, MP56, MP58, PP59 and CP960. So these are all devices, whatever you, are seeing, whatever you are seeing on the screen, which is certified from Microsoft Teams. So we just go and discuss about the next products. And if you are going to focus, especially on the video device solutions, and we have a solutions for focus and small rooms, and we have a solution for huddle and small room, medium-sized meeting rooms, and large meeting rooms, and extra large meeting rooms. 
and we have a MTR Microsoft Team Rooms on Windows based, which is MVC 320, MVC 400, MVC 640, MVC 660, MVC 840, MVC 860, MVC 940. So these are all the solutions which is related to the Windows. And we have an Android based solution, which is A20 and A30 and along with the meeting board. And we have a BOID solutions as well, which is in UVC 30 and UVC 40 and UVC 84 and UVC 84 BOID kit and UVC 84 or 86. Because the UVC is nothing but it's a USB based camera and 84 and 86 is which is the 86 is the latest model. We will talk about more in the slides. So these are the complete video conferencing solutions that we are going to offer. So on these solutions are certified from Microsoft so that you know you will get a better experience in your meeting rooms. So first we are going to talk about the Microsoft Team Room solution on Android based. So the key points is that it's easy to deploy and you can do the wide or wireless content sharing and there is the electric lens cap. So whenever you see the cameras, there is a privacy shutter is there. Whenever the meeting starts, automatically the privacy shutter is going to open so that it's like a privacy for you guys. And one cable BYOD mode. So in case if you want to use other than Microsoft Teams like Cisco Bex or Zoom or GoToMeeting or any other third party applications which you want to use, then you can use it as a BYOD mode as well. And AI powered camera, which is going to support artificial intelligence like a speaker tracking, auto framing, pick more, multi focus. There is a lot of features that is going to enhance and interactive whiteboard collaboration as well. While you are in the meeting, if you want to write something and if you want to explain something, then you can use the whiteboard feature as well. And let's go and see what are the products which is available in Android. So we have a two products, which is A20 and A30. So A20, especially for the small and huddle rooms and A30 for the medium sized meeting room. So small and huddle is nothing but you can go up to seven people in the meeting room and the medium size is nothing but up to 11 people. And by the way, these, if you see here, the A20, it's a single camera and it has a privacy shutter and it support, it has an inbuilt speaker and microphone and it support all your AA features. Like SP, like an AI feature is nothing but speaker tracking, auto framing, peep mode, multi-focus, all this is going to support. And also if you see here on the screen, there is a touch console, which is CTP18. So CTP18 is nothing but it's a collaboration touch panel. If anybody send a meeting request, you can see the invitation on the screen so that the, you can just come there and click the join button and you can start the meeting. And along with that, if you want to do a control of your camera, Maybe you are in the meeting and you want to do a control like I want to enable the speaker tracking or I want to enable the auto framing or I want to enable some other modes. By using this touch console, you can able to do it. And also if you want to share your screen, you can do it as well. So this is what. And again, if you go with A30 camera, it has a dual camera and it's uh, the second camera, it supports a PTZ, but at the end of the day, it's going to give you one camera one audio one video is the output and again if you see that a30 it has inbuilt speaker and microphone and it has a very powerful uh, speakers it has so that it's perfect solution especially for medium size so medium size is nothing but it has uh, 11 people in the meeting room and also it's going to support full duplex and noise cancellation so that any background noise is there those uh, remote people they are not able to hear that so that you will have a pleasant and perfect meetings that you can able to do it so if the customer, if they like to go with the Android based solutions, then we have these two solutions like A20 and A30 and it's purely depends on your room size. So A20 again, it's go with the small and the huddle rooms and A30 is going to support for medium sized rooms. And AI features, if you see on the screen, the AI features that we are going to support auto framing. So auto framing is nothing but instead of showing the whole meeting room, it's going to show it to you whoever people in the meeting room is going to focus on those people and it's going to keep it in the single frame. So that feature we can call it as an auto framing. The second one is that speaker tracking. So speaker tracking means whoever is going to talk. So the camera is going to focus on you. So that is called speaker tracking. So multi-focus framing, which means it's going to keep each and every individual, every person as an individual frame. So that is called multi-focus. And peak mode is nothing but picture in picture in picture. So these are all four features is going to support. And in uh, upcoming days, you can see more features is going to support. 
And again, if you want to interact with your whiteboard, you can do that. And if you see here, it's a if you there is an all-in-one design, and you don't require any mics, and you don't require any speakers. So the collaboration bar itself is going to have a inbuilt speaker and microphone. And if you want to integrate with your uh, whiteboard, you can integrate it so that while you are in the meeting, while you are going to write something, the remote people they are going to see it. And again, if you see guys, the connectivity part that they are trying to explain here, and uh, you cannot see any cables on the table and all the cables, especially your internet and HDMI, everything is going to connect directly to the TV and your local internet. Then after that on the table, you can see only the CTP 18 and the CTP 18 is directly connecting to your local network. And in case if you want to present something, you can use either WPP 20 or WPP 30. I'll talk about more about the content sharing. And you cannot see and your meeting room looks very clean on the table. So you cannot see any other additional devices. So this is what the connectivity part for A20 and A30. And again, we are going to talk about the wireless content sharing. So let's say we have a WPP20, which is wireless presentation pad 20. In case if you want to present something while you are in the meeting, you can use WPP20. And recently we have launched WPP30 as well. So you can use either WPP20 or 30 so that you can share your presentation. And it's going to support your Windows and it's going to support for your Mac as well. And the BYOD mode. So the BYOD is nothing but bring your own device. So as I discussed guys, by default, if you are going to use either Teams or Zoom, this device is going to support for Teams as well as Zoom. But other than this, if you want to use it for Cisco Bex or GoToMeeting or Blue Jeans or some other, other UC applications, then you are going to use it as a BYOD mode. So BYOD is nothing but bring your own device. You need to bring your laptop and you have to connect directly, either wired or wireless. So this is what the very interesting one, guys. So the wired is, which is very old, means uh, most of the people, they are going to use the wired one, which is by using the VCH51. And that VCH51 is directly connecting to your laptop. So through that, you can able to use whatever applications you want, you can use it. But through WPP30, wirelessly, you can share your content and also you can use it as a BYOD, guys. So maybe, if your customers, if they have already A20 or A30, you just upgrade the latest firmware. Then after that, you can just purchase WPP30. Then you can use it for either content sharing or BOED mode. So that's the beauty of that. So you don't need to bring any cables and all. If you feel that you don't want to see any cables, so simply you can purchase WPP30 and connect to your laptop. Then you can use it as a BOED mode or you can use it as a content sharing purpose. So that's the latest technology that uh, we are supporting right now this WPP30 is supporting for A30, A30 and A20 camera. So and the old versions, if you see the A20 or A30, either the device is going to support Teams or it's going to support Zoom. So that's why we used to call A20 Teams or A20 Zoom or A30 Teams or A30 Zoom. But now the latest firmware, the latest update from the ALI, once if you install the latest firmware, you can use it the same device for Teams or Zoom. And you can see here, if you want to change from Teams to Zoom, or you can use it directly, you can just log into the appliance by using the browser. Then after that, you just go to the UC provider, there you can select either Teams or Zoom. The choice is yours guys. So in case if you want to use it as a BYOD mode, Make sure that if you want to use it as a cable, then you can use VCH51 or else if you use WPP30 and you can use it in the WPP directly by using BYD. So that's the beauty of that one, guys. So if you have a old firmware version, either it supports either Teams or Zoom, but if you upgrade to the latest version, it supports the Teams and Zoom. By default, it's inbuilt. So according to your customer requirement, you can choose either Teams or Zoom. Or in case if you want to use it as a BYD mode, Simply you can take, select the BOAD mode, then you can use it either VCH51 or WPP30. So that's what the solution right now we are offering. And again, what are the external mics and expansion mics, which is going to support? So if you see here, there is a VCM34. As you know that VCM34 is nothing but it's a tabletop mic. So in case if the customer is requested you that, I'm planning to add extra mics, you can go for it. But usually 
the whatever the mics and speakers has inbuilt it's perfectly fine for small and medium size guys but in case your customer is requested you that he wants to go with additional mics you can go for it so we are going to support vcm 34 which is the tabletop mic and in a20 you can connect up to two mics and a30 you can connect up to three mics but again the connectivity part you can connect from one microphone to another mic you can just do the looping guys yeah and the second one is that VCM 36, which is the very latest one, which is support the wireless. And if you want to connect for A20, you can connect one wireless microphone. And if you want to connect A30, and you can connect two VCM 36. And VCM 38, which is the ceiling microphones, and A20 will support two, and A30 will support three. And CPW 90, which is the external wireless mic, and which is going to use the deck technology, and you can use one set. So one set is nothing but it's going to come with the two microphones. So this is what the expansion for A20 and A30 is. So maybe your customer, if he is not happy about it, the existing, maybe the microphone and all, then what you can do, you can expand it. So it's going to support the tabletop mic. It's going to support the wireless microphone. It support the ceiling microphone and it support the decked wireless microphone. It's a choice is it is. So now let's talk about the Windows based solution. So Windows based solution. So we discussed about the Android. In the Android, we have a Android all-in-one collaboration bar, which is A20 and A30. And if you go with the Windows and we have a like a Windows based solution and it's very easy to deployment and you can do the content sharing and flexible audio options. So this is the beautiful guys. So the flexible audio options means you can choose Either you know you want to go with the tabletop or you want to go with the ceiling mic or you want to go with the wireless microphone. According to your customer choice, you can choose it. Then also it's going to support the VOAD mode. So as I told you that, this is the certified from Microsoft Teams. Other than Microsoft Teams, if you want to use any other UC applications, so that is called VOAD mode. So you can use it as well. And a specific camera control by M-Touch. So that's the beauty of this one, guys. So there is a M-Touch, which is called it as a touch console. Through the M touch, you can control the complete camera while you are in the meeting. So, in case if you want to change the mode, like a speaker tracking or auto framing or some other modes, or if you want to zoom in or zoom out, or if you want to increase the volume or decrease the volume, or if you want to change the layout, everything you can do it your, through your touch console. And we have a solution for from small to extra large rooms that we have a solution stacks. So, the choice is yours. If the customer likes to go with Android with a single board solution, or if you want to go with the Windows based solution, the choice is yours. Yeah. So let's go and talk about the Windows based solutions. So this is, if you see, guys, in Windows based solution, this mini PC and M Touch 2 is the common in every bundle. So whatever bundles you are going to choose, especially you can call it as a MVC, Microsoft Video Conferencing on Windows based. In Windows based, the mini PC and M touch is going to be common, but only the change is the camera. So the camera we are going to choose according to your room size. So let's go and see what is there in mini PC. So by default, mini PC it comes with the Windows operating system. On top of that, there is a Microsoft Teams as installed, and it has a quad core i5 processor, and it has a 128 GB SSD hard drive. It has a 8 GB RAM, and it comes with the two. HDMI ports and four USB 3.0 ports and one VCH port. So the VCH port we are going to use to connect your M touch and there is an internet port you can connect directly to the internet. So by default, the license is inbuilt guys for Windows. You no need to worry about it. I think there is a question and the end of this question, I'm going to answer it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at the end of this session, I'm going to answer it. I think uh, my voice is audible guys for everybody. Yeah. So let's keep going. And again, if you see here, the M Touch 2. So in every Windows bundle, as I told you, there is a mini PC and M Touch 2 is the common in every bundle, but only the difference that you are going to change the camera, the camera you're going to choose according to your room size. Okay. So through this M Touch, you can share your content, guys. If you want to share the content to wire, you can do that. And wirelessly also you can do that. So if you want to share the content to wirelessly, we are going to use the WPP20. So this WPP20 directly you are going to pair with M-Touch. And after that, you can connect to your laptop by using USB. Either the laptop, it can be a Windows or it can be a Mac. You can directly share your content. So that's the beauty of this. 
And also, if you want to pair up to four wireless presentation dongles, you can pair it, guys. The WPP20, up to four, you can pair it. But at the end of the day, you are going to share only one screen. So if you want to share through wired, you can do that as well. And if you want to share wirelessly, you can do that as well. So if you see the AMP touch, which is going to play a key role here for sharing your content. So if you want to share through wired, so simply what you can do, by default, we are going to provide the cable, which is USB-C to HDMI. You can directly connecting to that USB-C cable directly connecting to M-Touch 2. And from there, you can connect into your laptop through HDMI or USB-C. You can do the content sharing. The next one is that if you want to share wirelessly, you can use WPP20. And especially the WPP20, you will get it some bundles. It's like optional. Or if you want to add separately, you just inform to your respective sales manager, they are going to add it for you. Yeah. So let's keep going now. And if you see, guys, this is the easiest way the deployment model. And one very interesting stuff is that A link, they are going to support the complete CAT 5E or CAT 6 cable, guys, the network cable that you are going to use it. So you don't require any special cables that you are going to use to connect the device. If you go on to connect your microphones, your speakers, everything, you can, you can use the Ethernet cable. The normal network cables, you can use it. And if you see here, some other vendors, they are connecting more than five to six cables to connect the video conference. But if you see here on the right side, the ailing just two cables only, guys. So one cable which is coming from the camera and it's connected directly to the microphones and another cable which is connecting to the touch console. That's it. So you don't need any other things, guys. So that your, uh, you know, your uh, table looks very nice in the video conferencing in the, in the video conference room in your meeting room. So that's uh, one of the best solution you can say. And also, if you see here, from the uh, there is a M Touch 2, which is directly connecting to your mini PC, and it supports up to 40 meters is the distance, guys. The CAT 5E cable you can go up to 40 meters. So as I told you, on the mini PC there is a VCH port. That VCH port is going to connecting to the M Touch 2, and it supports up to 40 meters is the distance. So you know you know it required you know any specialized cable. So simply you can take your Ethernet cables and connect to all the devices. So that's the beauty of it. And let's talk about the UVC 86, guys. This is the one of the camera which is going to support the AI and one of the best camera I can say. And especially we are going to recommend this camera for medium and large size meeting rooms. And it's a PTZ and it supports a 4K. Yeah, and it's a dual camera. And uh, if this camera is going to support guys, it, it supports the speaker tracking, auto framing, and presenter tracking. These are the one of the interesting features. Guys. And also this camera is it has a HDMI port and it has a VCH port and it has a USB 2.0 port and it has a lens, electrical lens cap as well. Okay. And we'll talk about more and what are the solutions that we are going to use this camera. And this is the one of the best tracking and video quality camera. So now the first one is that auto framing. There is a small video that I'm going to play for you guys. So that have a look so that everybody can get some idea. And you can see there when the participant is joined. As you can see, the AI camera identifies the number of people in the room and adopts the optimal frame to include everyone in the room. Let's see what happens when more people enter the room during a meeting. And see guys, whenever more people has joined, automatically the camera adjusted and it's going to focus only that specific people only. So that is called auto frame. And see here, the camera is adjusted. As you can see, the camera reacts quickly to adapt to the changes in the room. So that's the auto frame feature guys. So there is a next feature, which is speaker tracking. Let's go and have a look how the speaker tracking is going to work. 
speaker tracking mode. Let's try using the speaker tracking feature now. The camera supports voice print recognition. When a person is speaking in a meeting, the camera is able to identify the speaker and zoom in on him or her. Hi, this is Zoe. We speak our tracking. The meeting view frames the presenters in real time close up, ensuring attendees are well engaged. Hello, everyone. This is the, the camera supports voice print recognition. So the camera will be able to identify speakers immediately. A one sound hook, the camera will react quickly and easily. So this is what the speaker tracking guys, once if you enable the speaker tracking from your touch console, then camera is automatically focused who's going to talk in the meeting. And let's go and have a look that is presenter tracking guys, especially for the colleges, universities, you are going to use this feature. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. Have it. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. In online education or lecture scenarios, we may encounter a challenge that the teacher's or speaker's movement may be limited camera. The presenter tracking mode of the UVC 86 can effectively solve this issue. This mode is extremely good fit for educational scenario or when you need to give a presentation. In this mode, the UVC 86 can always track the presenter, which is me, no matter whether I'm standing, walking, delivering a speech, or being quiet. It can always track greatly, quickly, and show participants best viewing angle of the presenter. So this is what how these three modes, guys. If you see here, auto framing, speaker tracking, and presenter tracking. So this UVC 86 camera, it's going to support all these features. So this is one of the best camera. If you have a medium size and large meeting rooms, then this is one of the best solution. So let's go to the next. So the first one is that if you have a medium sized room and there is a solution, we are going to offer it from A-Link, which is MVC 660. And if you see here, as I told you earlier, the mini PC and touch console is the common and there is a M speech. So M speech is going to act as a speaker and microphone in your meeting room. And uh, as you know that the UVC 86 is going to support auto framing, speaker tracking and presenter tracking. And WPP20, that is the optional, guys. So in case if you want to add, then you can just inform to your respective account manager. So they are going to add it for you. Through WPP20, you can share the content wireless. So this is one of the bundle, which is MVC 660. And this is for medium size meeting. So the next one is that the large room solutions. So in case if you have a large meeting room, that we are going to offer it for you, MVC 860. And here, if you notice there, we are providing the camera, mini PC, and touch console, but we are not providing the speakers and microphone. So the microphones and speakers, you need to see the requirement from the customer and size of the meeting room. Either you can choose the tabletop mics, or you can choose the wireless mics, or you can choose the ceiling mics, according to your choice case. So in this solution, we are giving you UVC 86, which is acting as a camera, and there is a mini PC and touch console. But for the microphone and speakers, then you can choose according to your requirement, like your customer requirement. So if you want to choose the tabletop mics, which is VCM 34, we are going to support up to six microphones that we are going to support. And the VCM 38, which are the ceiling microphones, you can connect up to eight microphones. And CPW 90, you can connect up to four, which means there is a two sets you can connect. Each set is going to come with the two microphones. And if you want to add the sound bars, we can call it as M speaker two. You can go up to four. And there is one more thing, VCM 36. If you want to add the VCM 36, you can add it as well. And you can go up to four VCM 36, which is the latest microphone size. 
And again, WPP20 is the wireless presentation pad, which is the optional. So if you want to add, you can add it in your bundle. So according to your choice. So this is especially for if you have a meeting room size, it's uh, more than, you know, uh, up to 18 people, it's going to support. So the next one is that extra large room. So extra large room means like if you have a campus in the universities or the classrooms, you can go for this solution, guys. So if you want, you can go up to nine cameras you can connect it, guys. And good thing is that each and every camera you are going to connect with normal Ethernet cables. And also beauty of this solution is that you can mix and match so that you can go with UVC 84 and you can go with UVC 86. So if you want to focus only on the presenter, you can go with EVC 86 camera. And if you want to focus the audience, you can go with EVC 84. And it has a flexible audio options. So that if you want to choose the microphones, VCM 34, which is the tabletop mic, VCM 38, which is the ceiling mic, VCM 36, which is the wireless, and which is VCM CPW 90, which is the decked wireless microphone, the choice is yours, guys. And also, you can able to select either full screen or division or surround, which means you can able to focus which cameras you want to show it in the remote people. So if you want to show all three cameras, you can do that as well. And you can just drag and drop it, guys. So if you see here, for example, in the screen, uh, on my slide, you can see they selected as a division and they selected the three cameras. So that they drag and drop the three cameras so that the people in the remote side, they can see all three cameras so that People, they can see three cameras. In case if you want to show only two cameras, you can do it. Or in case if you want to zoom in or zoom out or specific people, you can do that. So everything is possible, guys. So that's the one of the solution that only the A-Link, the vendor is going to support this extra large room solution. Because in one meeting room, you can go up to nine cameras. All these nine cameras are connecting with the Ethernet cable, normal Ethernet cable, guys. So to connect all these devices that we are going to use the AV hub, it's an audio video hub. And also if you want to connect any third party. So some of the vendors that we are going to support to for the microphone and speakers, I'm coming to the next slides as well. So this is the pure A-Link solution. If you see there, there is a mini PC touch console along with the speakers, microphones and cameras. So this is for especially for large meeting room, extra large meeting rooms. So if you want to know about more details about the AV hub, so by default, AV Hub is going to come with the seven VCH ports, guys, so that you can connect up to seven devices, either EVC 84 or 86 camera or VCM 34 or uh, VCM 38, or you want to connect the VCM 36 or you want to connect the uh, CPW 90 or you want to connect the M speaker, you can connect it directly to this device. Maybe you have a question that if I want to increase more, for example, it has a only seven ports are there. In case if I want to connect eight VCM38 ceiling microphones, how I'm going to connect? That time it's very simple, guys. You take any PoE switch, and the PoE switch you can connect the remaining device. So why? Because all your devices is going to connect with normal Ethernet cables, including cameras, speakers, microphones. Everything is going to connect with Ethernet cables, guys. That's the beauty of the ALI, so that you don't require any specialized cables. Yeah so that you can connect all the devices. If you feel that the ports are not sufficient, then what you can do, you can just simply take any PoE switch and you can connect directly all your devices. So that's a beauty. Yeah, and it has a RCA in, RCA out. In case if you want to connect any third party speakers or microphones, you can use it as well. And there is a USB port as well, that USB port directly connecting to the mini PC. Or else if you want to use it as a BYOD, you can connect your laptop. From your laptop, you can just operate everything else. Yeah. So that's what the solution from A Link. And flexible audio options. And you can see here the audio options on the right side. There is a M speech, which is going to support AI speech, guys. So AI speech means it's uh, once if you give the any instruction, automatically it's going to take. So this is the M speech. And the pickup range for this is six meters. And the next one is that VCM 36, it's a wireless microphone. And uh, it, the pickup range is also is a six meters. And the next one is the CPW 90. And the pickup range is the three meters. And again, if you go to VCM 34, and it's a tabletop mic, and the pickup range is that it's a six meters. And VCM 38, it's going to be a ceiling microphone. It's a four meters is the pickup range. And there is a sound bar. 
So the choice is yours, guys. How you want to use it, you can use it. Like, you know, if the customer likes to go with uh, ceiling mics, or if they want to go with the tabletop mics, or if they want to go with the wireless mics, the total choice is yours. So this is what the complete solutions that we are going to offer from AD. And next one is that BYD mode. So now we talk about up to now the Microsoft Teams along with the microphones and speakers. Let's say if the customer, he purchased a bundle, which is a Microsoft video conferencing bundle. In case if you want to use any third party applications like Zoom or Cisco OBEX or GoToMeeting, any other UC applications. So you need to just purchase the MVC BOAD extender. That BOA extender directly connect to the camera. From there you can, it's also a ethernet guys. From there BOAD extender, you can directly connecting to there is a USB A cable, you can directly connect to your laptop. Then after that, whatever uh, UC application you want to run, you can run it. So either Zoom or Cisco Bex or GoToMeeting, any other UC applications you can run. So we are going to provide for you guys end-to-end -end solutions. Either if you want to use it as a pure Microsoft Teams, you can use it. Or else if you want to use either Zoom or any other third party, I mean UC applications, you just buy this MVC BOID extender, you can connect to your network, then it automatically works fine without any issues. But only the thing, other than Microsoft Teams, you need to bring your laptop and run that applications and install those applications like Zoom or Cisco WebEx, any other applications, and use this MVC BOID extender and you can run the remaining applications. And you can use our uh, the camera, you can use the speaker, the, you can use the microphone and all. So this is what exactly how BOID is going to work. And in case if you want to integrate with third party meeting control like Crestron or uh, Xtron or if you QSC or AMX that we are going to support and we have tested as well. It's working fine without any issues. Or if you want to use a, uh, like a, other than E-Link, if you want to use the microphones or speaker, you can use BAM, Sure, and the remaining models is there on your screen, you can use it as well. So for the connectivity part, this is what guys, you can see there. And there is an external controller. And uh, you can see here, it's directly integrated with the airlink, and you can able to control your lights, you can control your shade, and uh, you can control the speakers, microphone, everything. So this is the solution from the airlink, and you can integrate with third party, like external and beyond and all. Yeah. And there is a integration with external. If you see here, there's an application through that, you can complete control the camera, you can complete control the speaker, microphone. From here, you can able to control it also. And this is what the latest one, guys, which is VCM 36, which is video conference mic 36 wireless. And the pickup range for this is six meters. And uh, good thing is that if you have a UVC 84 or 86, you can go and connect up to four microphones, guys. Okay, four VCM 36 microphones is going to connect. And it works with the full duplex and 24 hours stocking time on 14 days is a standby. Yeah. And it's going to use WPA2 and AES, AES128 encryption technology. It's going to use. It's a purely wireless, guys. It's one of the best. And uh, the customers are very, very happy. And uh, they are using this without any issues. And it supports with UVC84 and 86 camera. And if you are going with UVC84, and you can connect up to four wireless microphones. And 86, you can go with four wireless microphones. So next we talk about the room panel, the ailing room panel, guys. This is one of the very interesting. You can keep it this device out of out, uh, outside of your meeting room so that if anybody send a meeting request so that you can see from outside, there is a what, how many meetings are there and who is utilizing the meeting room, who sent the meeting request and all. And this is purely Microsoft team supported device. Okay, and whenever there is a meeting is going on, the panel will turn into the red color so that everybody, people from outside, they know that the meeting is going on. Then the panel turn into the green color, which means the meeting room is available. And also, if you want to do an instant meeting, you can just come there to the panel and just click on the reserve button and you can just mention there how many minutes you want to use this meeting room and you can do that as well. So this is purely Microsoft Teams certified device. And next one is that M speech. So M speech, as I told you, it's artificial intelligence so that it's going to pick the voice from you. Yeah, it is going to act as a inbuilt uh, speaker and microphone it has. And the pickup range is at six meters so that you just come there, you can say, Katona, how are you? Or Katona, you can start the meeting. You can do it. 
this is like a AI speaker. So let's go and talk about this meeting board. So I'm going to play a small video, guys. Let's go and have a look. So this is the latest one, which is meeting board 65. Have a look. Let's go and talk about meeting board 65 guys. So if you see here, this is a purely Android based Microsoft team certified and it has inbuilt speaker and microphones. And uh, while you are in the meeting, you can annotate it and it has supporting the whiteboard feature as well from Microsoft. So this is going to be Windows module also you can install it. And let's go and have a look what are the features are there. In this. And if you see here, the benefits it's an all-in-one design, guys. So it has inbuilt speaker, microphone, along with the camera. And it has a whiteboard experience so that if you want to annotate something while you are in the meeting, you can do it. And a flexible solution design and wireless VOID mode. So in case if you want to use it as a wireless VOID mode, you can use it as well. So it supports WPT30. And you can see here, it's an all-in-one design. It has a built-in 4K camera and it has a microphone array. And uh, it has it's available in two different sizes. The first one is the 65 inches, and second one is the 86 inches. And it has a computing in it, and it has a Android 10 OS. So if you want to use it for Windows-based applications or something, you can just put the separate OBS module, and you can use it. And it has the array speakers as well. And by the way, this is the pickup range. Is that eight meters is the pickup range, guys? Yeah, actually, there is a couple of questions that people are trying to ask. Once I finish the presentation, guys, I'm going to address all these questions. Yeah, please allow me to just complete in another five to 10 minutes. We are going to complete the presentation. Yeah, thank you. So now you can see here, there is an extended optical PTZ camera. In case if you want to add the extra camera, you can add it as well. And it supports the, if you want to add extra wireless microphone, you can add it, which is going to support VCM 36. And it's a dual touch display. So if you want to add extended uh, extra display, you can add it as well. And in case if you want to add the touch console, you can add it as well. So basically by using the interactive screen directly, what you can do, you can just start the meeting and you can adjust the screen. You know, if you want to change the modes, you can do it as well. But in case if you feel that I want to have separate touch console, you can add it as well. So that's the uh, beauty of this. And again, if you want to do it wirelessly, if you want to present something, or if you want to use it as a DOID mode, there is a WPP30. So that, you know, WPP30, it's going to allow you to do the content sharing as well as it's going to work in the DOID mode. And if you see here, upgradable Android mainboard module, no need to change the whole device for hardware upgrade, but just replace the mainboard OPS module for performance and uh, Android version upgrade. So in case if you want to change the upgrade the firmware or if you want to change the if you want to upgrade the device, you don't need to change the entire unit, just change the module. It is a plug and play. So just you can remove that and you can just add the extra module. That's it. And it supports, you know, dual operating system, especially you know that some people is they want to run the Windows based applications. So for that, you can add the Windows-based uh, mini PC OPS is there. You can directly add into the device so that you can run the Windows-based applications as well. And the next one is that, which is desk reason A24, guys. This is especially for huddles and especially the managers or supervisors, if they are going to use in their room, and uh, they can go for this. The desk reason Android base 24. And you can see here, especially on the executive or managers in their office or else in the hot desk, in the huddle spaces, you can use this. 
and it has a dual mode for native teams. So by default, this device comes with the native teams and it has inbuilt speaker and microphone. Or in case if you want to use it for your personal monitor, just take the your HDMI cable and connect your laptop and you can use it for dual purposes. For the, by default, it comes with the native teams. And in case if you want to use it for your monitor and all, you can just take the HDMI and connect your laptop and you can use it. And it has a premium audio and video experience and UC workstation and enrich team display features like instant mail, instant messaging, calendar, whiteboarding, cut on of features. Everything is it has in here. So the Ailing device management platform, guys, YDMP. So as you know that there is a YMCS, which is the cloud-based, and YDMP is the on-premises. So in case if you want to manage and control or if you want to upgrade the firmware centrally, so this is the one of the solution from the Ailing. So you can manage all your Ailing devices, your cameras, your headphones, or your USB-based devices. Everything, if you want to upgrade the firmware, or if you want to reboot or reset, or if you want to do some changes, the configuration, everything you can do it from YDM. Okay, guys. And if you want to see the device topology, like how the devices are connected each, so that you can able to see it. And you can manage all your branches, the locations, everything you can manage. So this is a link live demo rooms, guys. This is one of the in case. Right now, this feature is not available in the UAE because in, in case your partners or your customers, maybe if they want to see the video experience, like the live video, live demo on rooms for Microsoft from Microsoft Teams from Ailing Solutions, uh, you can able to see it. But very soon, this feature, I mean, they are going to give you permissions to everybody in UAE region also. But right now, it's available in specific regions. And next one is that Ailing Room Configurator, guys. This is one of the very interesting. So I'm going to show it to you this one. In a few minutes, I'm going to give you the demo for it. So in case if you guys uh, are able to scan that, if you see there is a QR code on the screen, just scan it. It will directly read or, uh, redirect into the room configurator. From there, you can configure the, you know, uh, whenever you collect the information from the customer, based on that, what you can do, you can just design the room and you can just what are the devices that you are going to give. So that, you know, once if you send as a PDF format, the customer will get the complete idea like how his meeting room is going to look like and how it's going to the connectivity part and all. So this is one of the very interesting guys, sailing room configurator. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. So Jansab, can you please talk about the ORS? So in case if you have a project is lined up or in case if their partner want to register something, yeah. can you please tell us what is the process? Uh, how they are? Yes, I, uh, this is... Uh, mm -hmm very very open platform like uh, if any of the partners are working on any project so we make sure to protect uh, the partner who has pitched in the solution uh, to the end customer so i highly recommend to register on the first case whoever is doing it on the first case we will protect them uh, advantage uh, what is the benefits is that uh, we ensure that we will uh, mm, help you or uh, support you with uh, the POC. It will be supported in case of it is a big project, then we uh, you will be getting those uh, support from us. And uh, special pricing, of course, yeah. Since you put in the effort of uh, uh, pitching in uh, your link uh, solution there, uh, you will be uh, benefited with the special pricing, project pricing. So that will be applicable only for that project. Uh, in case of you being registered at last. So once you register, you'll be getting a registration uh, number uh, with a document confirmation from our end saying this project is uh, protected and uh, uh, registered in your behalf. Okay, so this is like a link opportunity registration system. So that uh, if anyone, guys, if you have any opportunity from a -Link, if you don't know how to do this, just you can contact the DVCOM respective account managers so that they are going to guide you how to do this. Yeah. And in case if you want to scan to register, you can see there is a QR code, just select that, then automatically to redirect into that registration page. There you can just mention the details, which project you are working and what's the requirement and all. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I just want to show it to you how the room configurator is going to work. Just allow me to two minutes, I'm going to share my screen.
Guys, I think everybody can see my screen. I believe. Yeah, I hope so. Everybody can see my screen, and you can see here. Once, if you go to the room configurator, yeah, you can see first you will get it like this. Just click on login. In case if you don't have an account, then what you can do, you can just create one account. So already I have an account, guys. I'm going to log in with my account. Just log in. So once you log in here, at first time when you log in, you will get like this. You want to be, you are going to build a solution for Microsoft Teams or Zoom rooms. So you can choose it. So I'm going to build a solution for Microsoft Teams. Then click next. So once you click the next, it's going to ask you. You want to build a solution for phone room, small room, medium room, large room, and ultra large room. So you can select it, guys. So I'm going to choose here the small room. Then after that, click next. Then if you see here, what are the options are available? So right now in the small room, you can go with A20, like Android collaboration bar. It has an all-in-one collaboration bar. It has inbuilt speaker and microphone. And also you can go with MVC 400. So it's a Microsoft video conferencing. It's worked with the Windows platform. We, all, we have already seen that, right? In case if you want to go with MVC 400, you can go for it. Or else if you want to go with the meeting board 65, you can go for it. Let's say here by default, it has selected as a A20. But I don't want to go for A20. Let's say I want to go with MVC 400. Select that. You can see, guys, once you select MVC 400, automatically the touch console, the everything is, the camera, everything is automatically adjusted here. Then after that, click next. Then after that, it's going to ask you, do you want to add extra microphones? So in case if you want to add extra microphones, say the tabletop mic or the ceiling mic, or if you want to add the MVC BOID extender for other than the Microsoft Teams, then it will show you everything, guys. But whatever is required by default, it's selected. In case if you want to add extra anything, you can do that. But now what I want to do, I want to add the WPP20, the wireless presentation pad. You see, guys, immediately the laptop, it has come. And also I want to add MVC BOID extender. Just select that. You can see here the MVC BOID extender. Other than Microsoft Teams, if I want to use it for some other applications, you can use it. Then that's it. Then after that, you can click Next. Once you click next, if you want to add the content-based camera, let's say I want to add it as well. You guys, you can see here the content-based camera, which is UVC 30. And also I want to add the room panel as well. Just click on that, guys. Then after that, you can see here, there is a door automatic room panel has come. So I click on the next. Then wall mount. By default, this is the wall mount. It comes within your box. But in case if you want to add the different one, you can add it, guys. See here? TV clip mount or VCS TV mount too. Or in case if you want to add some extra cables or some, something, you can add it. So I don't want to do anything. Then after that, click next. So once this portion is done, you can see here, this is your room design, guys. How beautiful it's going to look like. So that you can share it to your partners, your customers, so that they'll get a complete idea. Then after that, I just click on the save process. Then after that, save. Are you clear, guys? So you can specify the room. I can say dbcom test so i have a requirement for five rooms save then after that go then in case if you want to export just click on the export guys then export as a pdf that's what how it's going to look let's go and see here i want to export this export as a pdf then automatically the pdf is going to get downloads guys then you can send it to your customer so that the customer get a complete idea how it's working so it's there just open it, see here how it looks like. And this is your 3D diagram. And also if you see here, there's a wiring diagram so that if the customer may ask you how many cables, I can able to see what is the diagram for the cable. You can see it here. Then what is the pickup range? If you see guys, the pickup range is that five meters is the pickup range. Coverage. Yeah? Coverage. Yeah, coverage. Then after that, Bill yeah, this is the bill of material guys. So this is what, how the looks like. So that you can share it to your account manager from DBCom. He's going to provide the pricing for you. So let's go on R&D questions, guys. Okay, let's go and have a look now. So what are the questions that people are going to ask now? Okay, the first question, I believe most of the questions are answered. Okay, let me connect the camera as well.
the small camera guys which is uvc 20 camera so let's go and have a look hope everybody can see me i think so one second one second yeah yeah so this is the camera okay let's go and see it guys the first question is that can we use the a-link with our piece means what, what are the devices that you are going to use it sir yeah and the second question sir meanwhile you can just give me an answer i mean i am going to answer it for you and uh, so m touch is used only with windows that's correct sir m touch is going to use it with only for windows and there is a one more device which is ctp80 that is the collaboration touch panel that is for a20 and a30 if you have an android collaboration bar you are going with the ctp18 and if you have a windows one we are going to give you m touch yeah next one vcm36 required wi-fi from office to connect or it's connect own wi-fi from vc yeah it's connect from own wi-fi sir if you take a camera of uvc84 and 86 by default there is a ap is there or even a20 and a30 by default inbuilt ap is there you just enable it once if you connect it you'll ask you to enable it then enable it and automatically it connects you nothing to worry yeah but again the connectivity part especially for vcm 36 you need to connect to your mini pc okay and you just wait automatically the light is going to flash then it's going to automatically pay so you nothing to do so how many vcm 36s you have it just take it and fire pair it up directly okay and uh, yeah you love the configurator thank you mr yeah thank you sir you love the configurator yeah you can use it it's a free of cost, but only the thing you just uh, register and you can use it. And second thing is that power can be connected via LAN or PO is supported. So the power can be connected means uh, you're talking about the cameras. So the camera is going to get from the PO switch set. Yeah, you can take the PO switch and connect it. In case if you are going with uh, four cameras or five cameras in the single meeting room, Simply what you can do, you can just take a PoE switch and connect the UVC 86 or 84 camera. Both are support the PoE. Yeah, with the Ethernet cable, then automatically you will get a cable and uh, you will get a power. And also, uh, we have a tabletop mics, which is VCM 34. They also support normal Ethernet cable. And also, we have a ceiling microphone, which is VCM 38. They also support the tabletop. So that, you know, everything you can connect with the PoE switch. Let's move on to the next. Uh, is uh, room panel supported with the A-Link system? Yes, sir. Room panel is going to support. This is what the, yeah. Uh, this is actually, I don't understand what is you try to mention there. Yeah, but right now there is a latest update that we have got it. The room panel is going to support. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, next one is that as a vendor does your team support integration, support and installation support. Yes, yes, we are going to support sir. So most of the time what we are going to do, we are going to train our partners. So since you guys are all my partners so that we are going to train our partners on every Saturday so that we are going to show them all the devices, how it's going to work. Like, you know, uh, uh, how to choose the right solution for your customers and how to upgrade the firmware and what are the things needs to be done so we are going to give you end-to-end -end training so that you can just contact your respective account manager they are going to help you out for the configuration part and you know they are going to arrange the session for you yeah and the next one is that yeah actually you are trying to ask me something this is the room panel it's a purely microsoft team certified set. So let's say that you have a Microsoft uh, video conferencing device in your meeting room, and you can keep the room panel outside of your meeting so that both you can use the same account. Then after that, you can do the, you know, uh, you can just send the invitation from there and you can just understand like, you know, if anybody send a meeting request, automatically the panel will get it and it will show it to you on the screen. Yeah. Actually, different panel is nothing but if you are talking about, uh, let's say that some other vendors, they have a video conferencing device. Yes, you can use it. There is no problem for it. See, the, at the end of the day, what you are doing, you are taking a Microsoft uh, Teams account and you are going to log in with that. So the Microsoft Teams is, you know, it's not a vendor basic, like it's Microsoft Teams account and you can use it. 
maybe you are going with some third party video conferencing device other than hailing then we can use this room panel as and second one is that if we, if we need to connect this solution other than microsoft and zoom does it has api libraries so connect this solution other than microsoft that's what sir if you want to connect other than microsoft or zoom there is no api you just use in the boid mode so the boid mode is nothing but that either you can use the wpp30 or you can use the vch51 that is for a20 and a30 directly connect to your laptop and you can install those applications that's it it's going to run yeah uh, there is a question how much the range area can cover so which one you are talking about sir are you talking about vcm34 or 36 or 38 or cpw90 which one you are talking about is the one type purchase bundle or any license need to actually there is no license for it sir why because it's just a hardware right you are taking the licenses from microsoft or zoom in case if you are going to use the microsoft then you need to have a microsoft teams license in case if you are going to use the zoom then make sure that you should have a zoom room license yeah next one is that is installed uh, is installed or your audio works with mvc boid extender third party seeing microphone speaker cs yes, sir yeah you can use that we have approved yeah we have approved brands as well and you can go through it and you can you know already i shared it with you in my slides okay beam and sure extron these are all the things are there you can just go through it and you can try it it's working and can we use the wireless mic for any pc sir actually the wireless mic that's what i'm saying if you are going to use the boid mode then boid mode means bring your own device the camera is going to connect with the usb uh, usb cable directly to your laptop and this uh, see vcm 36 also connect to your laptop and you can pair it up but you cannot use it but m switch is there my uh, the which i told you m switch you can directly connect to your laptop and you can use it for your meetings and all yeah say so, supported one. do you have uh, do you have case studies for lms so we can propose this to education sectors for synchronization and uh, sir what you can do you can just uh, send us an email to your respective account managers they will get back to you on this yeah any other questions sir so far range Yeah, actually, and how much range means I don't understand. Is it ACM thirty four or thirty six? Is it a mic? Yeah, is it a mic? Or I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. So can you please? Yeah, can you please give us the detail so that I'm going to address those things, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can get the recording, sir. Actually, I will inform to the marketing team, and they are going to send it to you the recording. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for everyone. All right. Uh, so I think that's the end of this session. Um, so if you have any queries or if you want any uh, queries regarding the products or anything, uh, one sec, Mr. Abdul Rahman. Something is trying to. Yes, Mr. Abdul Rahman Devarajulu. Yes, please, sir. Go ahead. Uh, if you have any question, you can type it there. yeah we'll do we'll share the ppt sir yeah okay okay so i think that's the end of this webinar we'll be sharing you this ppt it will be going live on youtube by tomorrow and uh, we uh, please contact your account managers or if you are in someone in, in touch with someone from dvcom please contact them and they'll be sharing you the link or you can just follow uh, you can just subscribe to our youtube page and uh, you, you uh, it will be coming up over there and you can turn on the notification so uh, you'll be getting it and if you have any queries regarding any of the products uh, please send an email to sales@datavoice.com or you can talk to your account manager as well um and uh, we are there we are there on all major social media platforms so you can get live update you can get updates of our products or if any offers is coming up you can uh, we will also be getting any updates regarding that so we are there on linkedin instagram uh, facebook and uh, twitter as well
so I think I'll uh, thank you for everyone for joining this. Thank you, uh, Shishu sir. Thank you, John sir. Um, thank you all for attending this webinar. I hope it was informative and it was pretty useful for you, uh, for everyone as well. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.